Here is the number one thing that they don't tell you about toxic relationships. If you're in a toxic relationship where you're constantly playing games with this individual and there's a power struggle, you being healthy will actually cause you to lose a lot more than you even think. Because when you are healthy, that person will take complete control of you, they'll use and abuse you, and they'll have complete leverage of the relationship in itself. So there are two options that you have when you're dealing with someone that's in a toxic mindset. The first thing that you can do is just completely walk away. And this comes with a lot of emotional maturity. Being in a toxic relationship is very fun when you're young. And I mean this in the best way possible because when we're young, we're attracted to the volatility and the stimulation. Our entire society is nothing but stimulation from our phones to the TV, from the computers to everything around us. So we're more likely to engage in that in our relationships in itself. But your relationship should be a calm reprieve. It should be a break from the chaos in the world. But to be honest, that mindset takes a little bit of time to develop and it doesn't happen right away. And you probably have to go through a few really bad heartbreaks to acquire that mindset, that emotional maturity to say, look, I don't even wanna deal with the toxicity. But if you want to be in this toxic relationship, you have to play the game. You have to be even more toxic. And let me put it to you like this. If you're at a bar and someone wants to fight you and they're being crazy and they're super drunk, the only way that you win is by showing more toxicity, more volatility. In this situation, you being calm and talking them out of it will not work. That's why bars and clubs have security. That's why certain places have bouncers. That's why when things get crazy, you need to call someone in that's more aggressive, that's more dominant to cool the situation down. You have to de-escalate the situation by being more toxic. And this is a crazy line to walk here because in order for you to win this power struggle, you have to be more toxic. But what sacrifice are you making here? What are you actually doing? You are becoming the toxic one. And this is where you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it for me to be this toxic individual and play these games? The simple answer is no. But I know deep down in my heart, a lot of you will still do it. And trust me, I was this person that didn't listen to all my friends, all the logical advice I got out there. So when you're doing this, understand when you engage in toxicity, you're going to become a toxic person. If you're in a toxic relationship, you are toxic in some way, shape or form because you're chasing negativity. The best thing that you can do is walk away from the situation and redefine what you want out of a relationship. Redefine it to something that's more peaceful, that's more compatible, and that makes sense for you in a long-term fashion.